Next torch, K33 UV. This review is going to be pretty straightforward and simple because this light really serves one purpose, and that is to put out a 365 nanometer UV light. And so this light is going to have a pretty narrow scope of use, useful for things like forensics investigators. You can verify real money with it by seeing the stripes in it. If you want to search for things around your house, like different fluids, or maybe you're going to a hotel and you want to see what things are clean. I will warn you though, if you are OCD, do not go searching around your house with this light because I did that and I was cleaning until I just finally told myself to put the light down. But boy, your house will get clean because you will realize all the things that you have that you thought were clean, but maybe not. Anyway, this light is a admittedly not very cheap $54.99, but if you are getting this as a purpose-driven light because you are something like a professional forensics investigator, maybe that price is worth it to you. Comes with the box, the instruction pamphlet, and the USB-A to USB-C charging cable for the battery. Looking at the construction of the light, it has the same design language as many other Nextorch lights, like the Dr. K3 Pro, the Dr. K32, and of course, this one here, and I'll put links to the videos I did on both of these. You can check those out. On the back, there is a plastic tail button that does both half press and full press. The wire pocket clip, I will say, from having carried these lights is very stout. And I think perhaps because the material of your pocket kind of wraps around. So when I go to get this out of my pocket or the other lights of the same pocket clip, I actually find myself that I have to grip the tip of it here with my finger pull it out because it is so firmly in your pocket, but that is also to say you are not likely to lose this out of your pocket. The body has the model name there, nothing on the other side. Down to the head here, this screws off. And on the inside, this comes with a 10880, 650 milliamp hour battery. This is the equivalent of two AAA batteries. You can either use this or two AAAs. The run times are a little bit different with between the two. And this battery is rechargeable. You plug it in there and there's the light on the front that lights up as it's charging. This is IPX7 rated, which is gonna be plenty fine for most things that people are going to use it for. Can't see that being a problem. And up on the front there is a fine woods glass technology, specialized filtration, putting out that UV light at 365 nanometers. It does have two different brightnesses, a 110 milliwatt and 1300 milliwatt does these for eight hours and 15 minutes on the low and one hour 30 minutes on the high. If you use two AAA batteries, the low actually lasts for shorter and the high lasts for longer, kind of interesting. But really that's about it for this light. There's not a whole lot to talk about. It's easy to carry, it's nice and smooth. As far as size, it's kind of mid-range, I would say, compared to other lights in this category, other pen lights. But this is not going to be an EDC light, again, purpose-driven light, you're getting this light for the intended purpose. I'll put some links down below, you can check it out, but this is the Nextorch K33 UV.